Hello, Hornets! We are so excited that it is time for back to school. On Monday, school is going to be a little bit differently because no one is going to a school building. Instead, everyone's going to be doing launch ed. So we wanted to give you a step-by-step -step guide on what you're going to do for your first day of school. After logging into your computer, you're going to click on Google Chrome. When Google Chrome loads, you're going to sign into Launchpad with your username and password. Your username is going to be your 480 number, and your password is going to be the password that you set up at school, or your birthday, which is the four-digit year, two-digit month, two-digit day. So again, username is your ID number, your password is either going to be a password you have set up if you are with us previously, or your birthday if you have not set up a password yet. Four digit year, two digit month, two digit day. And then you're gonna click on sign in. Once you are signed in, it is going to bring up OCPS's Launchpad. On Launchpad, there's applications that you will be using throughout the year. On day one, you're going to want to go to Skyward. Skyward is our grade book, but it'll also give you the opportunity to see your schedule. If it prompts you, sign in again with your ID at students.ocps.net. Once Skyward has loaded, you will notice on the left-hand side, it says schedule. You will click on schedule, and it is going to load your schedule for the year. You will notice in yellow, it will have your courses and your teacher you will see this M slash J and a name. This is the name that the district gives, so if it doesn't match your course name on Canvas, it's okay. The important thing you're going to be looking for is your teacher name in this column. Because on Canvas, you'll be able to identify which course is yours, even if this name doesn't match, by the teacher's name. You'll also notice on the left-hand side that it has the class periods, one through seven, and the times that those class periods take place. That'll be very important because we are following a bell schedule even though you won't be in the school building from day one. You can take a picture of this or you can use the print screen option on your keyboard that says P-R-T-S-C-R and that will take a screenshot of this so that you can save it to your desktop. You also have the option to click here and print schedule. After you have your schedule and you have it written down or saved somewhere, then you will go back to your launch pad. Close out of your Skyward tab and you're going to go to Canvas. Once in Canvas, you're going to see your dashboard. Your dashboard gives all of your class cards, which is how you're going to enter into each of your classes. If I had first period with Mrs. Cameron, I would look for Mrs. Cameron's name. You'll notice I do not see the M slash J name like I did on Skyward. That's okay. Not all of your courses are going to still have that title, but you will see their name down below. So Mrs. Cameron's class is where I want to go first period. So I'm going to click on her course card and it will load her homepage. The first thing that you want to do when going into each class period, first period, second period, all the way through seventh period, on the first day is to make sure you go to the announcements in each course as your first step. That is where you're going to see a message from your course teacher. It's going to tell you, welcome to this class with your teacher's name, day one, August 10th. When you click on that announcement, it's going to give you specific directions on what that teacher wants you to do. Most teachers will be having a live meeting right from the start. To access a Big Blue Button conference, you're going to click on the left-hand side where it says conferences. Once there, you will see the conference is in progress and you can join. If you do not see a join button, that means your teacher has not yet started the conference, so just wait and refresh the page right when the class period begins. Once you join, you will be in a Big Blue Button conference. If you have not used Big Blue Button before, you will see on this screen what your teacher is presenting to you or your teacher's face if she is going live. You are able to type into the chat box 
if you have any questions or want to communicate with your teacher. We are so excited to have you at Horizon West this year, and we can't wait to see all your faces virtually on Monday.